simple experiment, uh, just water uh, plants that you have at home and uh, you know, or raise plants, you know, put some seeds in the soil uh, and water one with uh, regular uh, water and the other one with uh, water that had been exposed to microwaves in a microwave oven and uh, do that over a couple of days and you will start seeing a difference that the plant that has uh, been watered uh, with microwave uh, your microwaved water will not develop properly and eventually it will wither and then die and uh, the other plant will thrive. Uh, so if that uh, you know, applies to plants it will also apply to human cells not just plant cells uh, so it's, it's something to consider. There is a lot of research that has been done by the Russians and by Swiss scientists that have uh, discovered that microwaves are in fact you know, not just useless uh, you know, uh, for, for making food uh, palatable and uh, making food useful for the body but actually they are harmful. Uh, microwaves were used uh, first by the Germans during World War uh, Year Two, and uh, they used microwaves first to uh, warm uh, you know, the soldiers that were uh, you know, very, very cold in the winter uh, when they were at the battlefields, and they were given these, uh, you know, had these microwave uh, generating devices and they were huddling around uh, these microwave uh, devices because that warmed them up and so they felt you know, cozy and uh, warm around these things but uh, suddenly the, uh, the German uh, you know, uh, you know, military discovered that uh, all those people were, who were hanging around these microwave uh, devices they were uh, getting sick and uh, they died from leukemia, from blood cancers and blood cancers, uh, by the way, they can develop very, very quickly. Uh, it's not like or, you know, other tumors uh, you know, that grow in the tissues and take uh, sometimes years and years to grow. But uh, with blood cancers, it, it can literally happen from almost like one week uh, to the next. Uh, then uh, they uh, retracted, you know, they basically took uh, these devices back and they banned them. And then some a few years later, uh, still during the war, uh, they discovered uh, they they wanted to put out uh, you know, you know, microwaves uh, the first microwaves to warm up food for the soldiers. They thought that might be uh, working. At least we can give them warm foods because they are so cold in Russia and wherever. And so they uh, warmed up uh, foods with these microwaves, um, and the soldiers felt great having warm foods in the battle you know, grounds. Uh, that was you know, luxury. Uh, because otherwise they would never have access to warm foods, uh, and so that uh, that went fairly well. But a couple of weeks later, uh, these soldiers started dying and uh, you know, get very very sick. Uh, so once again, they found that microwave food uh, caused leukemias. Now, incidentally, when you look at the statistics, uh, when microwaves became extremely popular, that's when leukemia rates uh, you know, started going up as well. Uh, dramatically. Um, so it, it was a very, very uh, rare uh, form of cancer, hardly ever known before. And so with the onset of these devices, uh, leukemia rates you know, shot up. Uh, so it, it's again something to consider uh, when uh, the Germans uh, you know, noticed that microwaves uh, were, you know, microwave cooked foods were causing cancers, they once again uh, banned them. Uh, the Russians were much, much smarter than the Americans uh, because they banned them outright. Uh, they didn't allow them, uh, allow them for 30, you know, 40 years because they knew the, about the cancer-causing effects of microwave ovens. In America, it was allowed, uh, you know, even though when you buy a microwave you know, oven, uh, there are warnings that you know, there are risks uh, involved in uh, using it. Uh, because there is always, you know, there are always some rays that go out, uh, that come out of the devices and they get into the furniture uh, in the kitchen and then they constantly radiate back into your body. Um, so it's one thing to be you know, very, very concerned about. Uh, also, the, the microwave food
food uh, yeah, is basically destroyed. Uh, it's not that it is yeah, cooked uh, through an external heat source. Uh, you, you're, it, nothing, there is no external heat source. What happens is that uh, the microwaves are creating friction between the atoms and the atoms move very, very fast uh, and that creates heat and that heat will basically tear apart the molecular bonds, uh, the molecular structure uh, that makes the food uh, useful. So when you destroy the molecular bonds between, let's see, amino acids and uh, carbohydrates, and it just breaks it apart, uh, the body will not make uh, good use of any of that because it can only read uh, food as molecular bonds that you know, can be utilized or converted, uh, but if you tear it all apart, then that uh, food is basically um, of, of no much use. So it will you know, be fairly undigested, and so the individuals who eat a lot of the microwave food uh, they will find themselves uh, to uh, start craving more and more foods uh, because they are in a state of malnourishment, undernourishment, and you will find that they will start uh, putting on a lot of weight. Uh, they are you know, unable to get rid of all the waste matter that has been accumulated uh, because of not digesting these foods properly. And uh, your know, obesity rates are you know, very clearly related uh, you know, to a large extent to use of microwave ovens. In countries where you don't have microwave ovens, uh, people tend to be thin, uh, you know, light, light, uh, you know, having light body weights, and uh, you know, it's again uh, one of those modern appliances uh, that nobody seems to you know, have a problem with. Uh, that is one of the main reasons for uh, people getting sick uh, in this country. So I definitely, you know, in America here, um, I definitely don't recommend uh, use of microwaves. Uh, there's far too much evidence that it um, you know, goes against the human physiology. Why put uh, radiation, whether it's low uh, you know, frequency radiation or ionizing radiation uh, you know, from uh, medical devices like uh, CT scans, uh, and now ultrasounds, which is you know, also related to leukemia, uh, x-rays, you're definitely known to cause leukemia and other cancers. Uh, so it's, it's very important to be very, very extra careful about radiation of any kind, uh, unless it is direct sunlight, uh, which is a different form of radiation, which the body has a natural contract with, but uh, these unnatural forms of radiation exposures uh, is definitely something to be very concerned about. And I would never ever turn a microwave on in my own home. And uh, you, you use the, the, that to create a shortcut to sort of saving time uh, to cook, uh, which in the long term will cost you a lot more uh, you know, of your life uh, in terms of you don't save any time you lose a lot of time, so I, I don't recommend it.